really happy to show you for the very first time our new high-end GPU for gamers and creators, AMD Radeon 7. <laughs> Radeon 7 is the second generation Vega graphics core. It is the world's first 7 nanometer gaming GPU. And when you look at what it delivers, we really deliver leadership performance in content creation, thank you, and compute workloads. And so when you power enthusiast level gaming, you need it in all kinds of ways. So where does all that performance come from? Radeon 7 has 60 compute units running at up to 1.8 gigahertz. Radeon 7 uses advanced 7 nanometer process technology. As I said, this is the world's first 7 nanometer gaming GPU. And what we get for that is 25% more performance at the same power. And lastly, Radeon 7 has massive memory. 16 gigabytes of high bandwidth memory with industry leading terabyte per second of memory bandwidth. So if you think about all of that memory and all of that compute, you can imagine how good this GPU is for content creation. If you take a look at some of the most important benchmarks in creative workloads, we see up to 30% improvement in things like Blender and Adobe Premiere. You can imagine 30% does a lot. We see up to 60 62% more performance in GPU compute workloads based on OpenCL. And when you think about all of these performance games, they are really, really good for creators, and we love that. But we know that you guys want to know how does Radeon 7 perform in gaming. We really built Radeon 7 for gamers, and these are the cream of the crop, the folks that want high frame rates when playing at the highest quality visual settings at max resolutions. And we have some really large improvements from first generation Vega. What you see is across Vulcan, DX12, and some of the popular esports titles, you see significant improvements when running at 4K and max settings. And the thing about Radeon 7 is we also use some of our new Vega features, things like async compute, rapid pack math, shader intrinsics. These are all being used by game developers to create even better and more immersive gaming experiences. But that may be enough of me talking about the card. You may actually want to see Radeon 7 in action. So I think my friend Chris is here. Chris, let's show Radeon 7 running a really, really cool new title. It's the upcoming Devil May Cry 5 running at 4K. So this is the first time that Devil May Cry 5 is being shown running on Radeon 7. And it's the latest version of the successful Devil May Cry action adventure feature series from Capcom. AMD has actually worked very closely with the development team to optimize the game engine to create the photorealistic characters and some of the environments that you see here. And if you take a look at the performance, we have the frame rates up there. You can see the game is running super, super fast in 4K ultra settings way above 60 frames per second. So there you see it. I want to give a really, really big thanks to our partners at Capcom for letting us show DMC5 before it launches. Um, this title launches March 8th, and we're really excited to um, be working with Capcom on it. So thank you very much, Chris. believe at the high-end enthusiast market, you need great hardware. And gamers who want to run AAA titles in 4K at max settings will be really happy with Radeon 7 and how it performs compared to the competition. Radeon 7 has better performance in some of the latest Vulcan games, like Strange Brigade, and is very competitive at both DX11 and DX12 games. And I know for some of the press here in the audience, you guys are working, um, you guys are waiting to get Radeon 7. You will get them and be able to do some really cool reviews. 
Now, in addition to Capcom, we partner closely with many developers. And it's really that close partnership that allows us to take advantage of the features of our Radeon GPUs. So to discuss a bit more about our partnership with game developers, let me invite David Polfeld to the stage. He's head of Ubisoft's massive ent entertainment studio. David? How are you, David? Good, fantastic. What a huge crowd. It's a great crowd, isn't it? It looks fantastic. Thank you, by the way. David joined us all the way from Sweden, so we really appreciate it. Um, David, we are so proud of the partnership that we have with Ubisoft. Uh, we've done some great, great work together across uh, Far Cry 3 and 5, uh, The Division, Rainbow Six, and um, a few others. So can you tell us a little bit about why hardware partnerships are so important for you to deliver these incredible gaming experiences? Of course, and thank you for having me here on stage. It's a real pleasure. My first time in Vegas, fantastic AMD <laughs> event, so congratulations. Um, and you know, I'm really excited to be part of announcing the Radeon 7 to gamers everywhere. And as, as you know, partnering with the best hardware developers in the world is very important to us, and specifically with AMD, because you guys have created what most gamers play on. And it's very important for us to ensure that our Thank fans you. have the best experience. No, it's, it's true. Thank you, I appreciate so that. Thank you so much. And you know, our collaboration has enabled us to bring our creative vision to life by helping us develop new worlds, increase frame rates, and support higher fidelity visuals. You know, um, David, the division was actually the biggest game launch in Ubisoft history. And today we're working on something even much more ambitious with the division two. So how can you make something that was so great, you know, even better? <laughs> well, uh, first of all, I have to say it's great to work with people who are as ambitious as we are. That's been a real treat. And we're incredibly proud to partner with AMD to deliver smooth and awe-inspiring visuals in 4K resolution, while letting players experience game-changing performance with The Division 2. So our partnership has allowed us to overcome several technical obstacles that we faced when we set out to create this huge, forward-looking and living world. But through uh, AMD support, the technology features, the collaborative optimizations, we've been able to lower the barriers of entry and take advantage of everything that AMD has to offer. So supporting DX12 with the division, I think, was just a, f a testament to that collaboration and the beginning. Uh, but, you know, while we're speaking, let's not forget to take a look at these wonderful shots from the game, because that's really cool. Really, really beautiful. David, thank you. I think this is the first time anyone's seeing this, right? So, you know, rendering on all of those details at max settings and 4K resolution must require some pretty powerful GPUs. Oh, completely. <laughs> You're right. And, you know, that's why we wanted to show everyone here uh, the Division 2 running at 4K settings on the Radeon 7. It's on me! I guess, welcome to Washington, I guess. <laughs> so, and I just want to take this opportunity to thank you for building what we need based on our, our feedback that we've been having very, very tight dialogue when we were working on this. And it's not just with the hardware, it's also with the open source tools, GPU open, and I think it's one of many great examples of AMD listening to all of us. And it clearly shows, I think, in the world we built with the Division 2. That is absolutely, absolutely gorgeous. Now, if you look at the collaboration between um, you know, our engineers and your Snowdrop engine development team, um, it is incredibly good. So what can we expect to appear in the Division 2 as a result of all that work? Well, uh, you know, the collaboration will translate into better performance and more realistic graphics for gamers. So at launch, the Division 2 will support the full set of advanced Radeon technology features. Thank you, by the way, that's fantastic. <laughs> <laughs> no problem. And DX12 with Async Compute is especially important for us because we want to open up this experience to as many players as possible. That's fantastic. Look, we, um, we love the fact that you're using our tech. I mean, it's really great. It's why we build it, frankly. Well, we love it too, you know, so it's, it's a, <laughs> we're just having fun. Um, so, uh, look, as exciting as it is to work on graphics together, you know, CPUs are also really, really important. Can you tell us a little bit about your experience with Ryzen? I'd be happy to, because the Ryzen is a really a beautiful piece of hardware. And, you know, the, the cores and the threads are allowing us to bring better performance and tighter gameplay to so many people. And at the end of the day, uh, games are created on PCs. Yes. So it's an incredibly important platform to us. And we're super committed, and we wanted to show you that we're here to make the best experience possible on PC 
for, with AMD, but for everyone. I think you have made a lot of PC gamers really happy today. So, uh, David, thank you for this close partnership. Thank you for everything uh, that you've done. Thank you for letting us look at Division 2 on Radeon 7. We can't wait for the game to come out and for gamers to experience. I can't uh, wait for it to come out either. <laughs> <laughs> but thank thanks you. for having me, and good luck with everything. Thank you. Bye-bye. Thank you. Bye -bye. Thank you.